Okay, quick one before we start. I did this video blog um, two weeks ago, almost exactly two weeks ago to the hour. Um, but in the last week, my bloods have been all over the place. So this is this is me with a little bit of blogging honesty. Um, I've been shooting high, shooting low. My basal insulin, my background or basal insulin, um, that's gone up by 15% in the last uh, four days. And I'm still bouncing up and down whenever I eat. So I'm taking to eat very low carb meals at the moment, um, just to try and get myself flat. So that's my numbers were so bad and I was feeling really demotivated. Even though it was not being useful to keep a track on, um, I dipped out of doing the second part of the review. So I thought I'd start all over again. And by doing it this way, we can also have a bit of a bonus, um, which you'll see shortly, um, on the taking off part. All right, quick, let's crack on. Hi, welcome to the latest version of the Tangerine Diabetic uh, blog, video blog. Um, it's been a while few months since I last did one when I was doing the 640G for Medtronic. Um, quite enjoyed that. I thought I'd give another one a go. Um, see if you enjoy it too. Um, so what am I going to talk about today? Well, I had a, I've keep an eye on my uh, written blog every now and again and just see the num number of visitors, uh, which posts I do uh, get the most interest. And without a doubt, there's two at the top, always at the top, regularly the most read and they are related to the Abbott Freestyle Libre. Um, I also have a tendency to call it Libra because it's written L-I-B-R-E, Libra. <laughs> so um, if I pronounce it Libre or Libra, I'm talking about the same thing. What do we know about the Abbott Freestyle Libre? Well, it's a small device that sits under the skin, um, on top of the skin, um, that continually, continuously reads um, my glucose reading in my blood. It's measuring the interstitial fluid, um, not my actual blood glucose. Um, so that's, if you have saw the blogs on the um, 640G and the CGM there, um, you'll know the difference. And that means there's a slight delay of the reading you get from a finger stick blood test. Ooh, there's my finger. If you're taking blood out of that, you get a different value to if you're taking blood out of my arm. You, I was sensing the blood out of my arm, sorry, um, using the Libre. Right, so what's it look like? Well, this is the box it comes in. Those look like a bit of box opening filming. We've got that there, that there. Nothing exciting, the numbers on the bottom. Um, it's a fairly neat, tidy little box. And also with it, you need a reader. Turn that on, it's going to give you an error message. Turn it on, hold up, scan to check blood glucose. We'll come to that in a minute. Um, so you need so you need one of these and one of these. And that's your kit. That's all you need um, to get reading. Wait, you also get one other thing. Back, you also get USB cable. Um, that's to connect the reader to your computer or Mac um, for the numbers later. But we'll deal with that uh, later on. First up, um, we'll have a look at the lever. Um, so, what do we know about it? For a new customer, you can buy a starter pack. Um, I'm going to deal in UK prices. Um, no, let me tell you why we're going to deal in UK prices. It's currently only for sale in seven European countries. I have a list written down, so excuse me if I look downwards. We've got UK, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, and Sweden. Um, it's set to either millimoles per litre or the MG slash DL um, setting, so depending on which country you buy it from. That's preset by the distributor, which is Abbott. So if you buy a Libra from France, it will be set in one um, type of unit. If you buy it from the UK, it will be set in another. It's just the way it is. It's fixed. Can't change that. So what do they cost? Well, each of these in the UK costs, including VAT, do -do -do -do, list again, £57.95p. However, if you have diabetes or it is being used for someone who has diabetes, 
Um, you can take the VAT off that, so that brings it down to £48.29 B each. They last for 14 days. For those who use um, the Dexcom or the Enlight sensors, um, you may be used to being able to extend the life of them possibly. Um, you can't do that with that. Many people have tried so far, not many people have succeeded. Um, it's not simple, so it's a flat 14 days um, for just short of £50. I say 48 29 unlike others, we do have postage to add on top. So, one costs 48 29 two costs for uh, £96.58, but on top of that, whether you order one or two, uh, you have to add £4.95 postage. Um, the postage allows you to track it along the way. Uh, delivery normally takes three days. So we have a cost of about £100, uh, just over £100 for two of these, which lasts you 28 days. Same month, but it's not a month, it's just four weeks. Hey, hey. Um, and at the moment, if you're allowed to purchase, this is where it gets a little bit weird. Um, because of stock shortages, um, you need to be a registered customer of Abbott to be able to buy the Freestyle Libre and to get onto the list. You need to register with them and get on the waiting list and then you'll receive an email saying you can now apply, you can now buy. Um, until you're on that spot, um, in fact you've just got to wait. Um, this is done purely to control the stock levels. They're having real difficulty keeping up with demand on this. Uh, such a Huge success at the start. I don't think they anticipated it being quite as successful. Um, and to be able to supply any failures, and also to be able to supply everyone who's registered um, to be able to buy, um, they've had to limit the number of people they can sell to. If you're not on the list, then you may want to buy it in the future. Um, I'd say put your name down and get yourself ready, just in case. You can always uh, dip out. You don't have to purchase. It's just a get registered. Uh, once you are registered, you can buy two boxes of this. This lasts for how long? Two weeks. You can, so you can buy two of these um, every two weeks, which is actually twice the number you'll, you'll need, because uh, these last for two weeks. Um, so you can buy two of them every two weeks, and that should keep you in steady supply. Um, okay, let's have a look what's in the box. We all like a bit of box traveling, don't we? Right. I'll come close for this, so we can get a good look. Okay, let's have a look in the box. So, what will we find? Everyone likes a good box opening. So we have, there's the box. Ripped off the label. What have we got inside? Piece of paper, instructions. Who needs instructions? Nah. So, discard, uh, oops. On the box. So we've got wipes, two wipes, one wipe, two wipes, cleaning the skin before you apply the sensor. We have the sensor pack, you can see on there, all the relevant information, nice and sealed. And we have the applicator device which they call sensor applicator looks like that so we got this is how it comes only be compacted so shall we open it up see what's inside inside open it nice and slowly have a look in there nothing much to see okay and we take we unscrew this part all sealed there we go, so there we can actually see. Um, get some light on this. There we go, bit of light, that helps. So we can see, nice and close. You can see inside, there's the probe. The, oops, a bit bright there, isn't it? And that's about, that's the white bit. That's the sticky stuff. That's what's gonna stick to my skin for the next 14 days. Gap in the middle is where the Doobry Watsits are. So, the next step is place that in there, push it right down, and then lift out. Okay, 
So, this is where we're going to do a little bit of editing. So, let's come back. So it's in there. Ooh, that's a good. Right. So, the needle can look a little bit scary. So, if you're applying it for the first time, either to yourself or to a child, um, I'd keep that hidden from that person, whoever that may be. Um, I didn't look at it the first time, um, purely because it doesn't, I don't feel it at all. I've never felt one going in. Um, but if you look at the needle, you think, that's going to hurt. But it doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, there's other videos of people applying the sensor uh, online and there's a general look of shock on their face because there's no pain. So, needles in there, don't need to look at it. It's a needle. We've got diabetes, we've seen needles. So, shall we apply it? Um, I'm going to use another camera for this. Never tried two cameras on the video vlog before. Let's see if it works. Um, hopefully so you can get a good look at where to do. The approved sites are on the upper arm. Um, myself, I like to keep it just above the t-shirt line. Um, so it's completely hidden. Um, I did try, I have tried ones a little bit lower down thinking they won't get catch. And they don't catch, they just, they just show. Um, it's not really a problem, it's just 100%, 100% hidden, um, totally out of the way. Um, right, shall we go for it? I may move the camera, hold on one second. So, we've got a bit of a side profile there. Um, put the camera down there as well. Um, so, let's give it a go. So we have the applicator, which we are now going to place in the desired position. Like I said, I'm just going to lift the sleeve up just a little bit, place it on the back of my arm, just about there. Um, for me, that's a good place. If you can see that one, there we go. And what's involved now is a short, sharp push. Didn't feel a thing. Didn't feel a thing at all. Um, what you might have heard there was the click. Um, that was the needle coming back. Um, you hear the clunk from the needle coming back because uh, you don't hear it going in. And then all we do now is lift off and there we go. It's nice and secure. Just put my finger gently around the edge of the tape and we can see it's all in place. Have a look on here. All in place, nice and secure. About the size of a two pound coin or a two euro coin. Um, um, side profile you can see sticks up slightly not overly um, it's the shape of my arm that's pushing it out of there it's not coming off at all or further in um, and the hole in the middle see there just pointing to it there that's where the needle was and it's come out again as I said didn't feel a thing so it's on that's it so next job is we turn on the reader. Because the um, sensor is pre-calibrated in the factory, um, there's no calibration involved with any type of meter. Um, don't need to, don't need to tell it what the initial reading is or what the reading was. It works. It, it, it's bizarre. When I first started using them, after using the end lights, I, it blew my mind a little because obviously you need to calibrate your sensor to keep it in line, but you don't. Um, occasionally, I've never had it, um, but some people have experienced it where, they've, where the readings have just been totally off um, after a few days. Um, in those cases, you phone up Abbott and they'll send you a replacement. What Abbott do say is for the first 24 hours, um, the readings might be slightly off. This isn't to be unexpected, it's from the trauma of the needle going under the skin and disturbing the tissue around the sensor. It's nothing about the inability of the sensor, it's just about the body's natural reaction to something strange going in. But myself, I've found they're normally um, fairly even, fairly straight away, um, so I've never had a problem. Um, so there we are, so we are under. So now we turn on the reader, which says there, Check glucose. Now this, I'm going to quickly scan, I'm going to quickly scan over the last one. I'll, you'll see in a bit what we do with the last one, but there's a bit of a hint. Oops, there's the old one. We'll come back to that. 
In fact, when I turned it on there, it actually said sensor timed out. So now it says on the screen, start new sensor. So this is what we're gonna do. We tap on start new sensor and it says start new sensor. Scan sensor to start it. Bit of a top tip for some people, um, they've been applying it um, a day before they want it to start. Um, this allows, what I mentioned, it takes a day to settle down. They've beaten this effectively by putting it on the day before they need it to start. If they're overlapping sensors and running them continuously, um, they'll apply that one a day before that one runs out. Um, I'm not that organised. We're just going to try it straight away. So, it's timed out to save on battery. Um, the reader has timed out, so now we're going to click OK. Start new sensor again, so it says, scan to test. So, simple testing, as I said. Um, although I'm lifting the t-shirt, I don't need to do that. I can scan over clothes, over everything. I just want you to see it um, nice and closely. So, as we said, it says there. It's a bit bright, can't really see on there. It's in there. So it says, start new sensor. Click on it. Scan sensor. And a scan is, effectively, just that. And that was it. That's what a scan was. And it says on there, sensor is warming up. Um, wait 60 minutes. So, so that's it. We've now got to wait for 60 minutes um, while that does that. Um, and the excitement starts to build. The tension is great. You'll have noticed when I scanned, um, it vibrated. Or well, you might have heard it vibrate. Um, there's different options on here. Um, we can turn sounds on. So we'll turn the tone on again, so we'll click OK. And let's have another scan. So check glucose. New sensor is starting up. Scanner can be used in 60 minutes. And it beeped to tell us that. Try it again. Look, it just says come back in a minute, in an hour. So that's what we'll do. Um, while we're waiting, I'll do something else. Wait to the old sensor um, that will you'll be able to see later on in the video. I'll do a bit of chopping and changing so we get sequential. Okay, see you in a bit. Back, how am I doing? 53 minutes. Be back soon. Okay, we're back. So, we have had a bit of time since I inserted the Libra sensor. And I may need an assistant for this. Yeah. Come and sit down. Right, so we just had our tea. What did we have for tea? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. And I guess chips and gravy. Chips and gravy. Mm -hmm. Gravy on top? No. What do you do with the gravy? Dip it. Dip it. So we have the scanner, which now says, if you can read that, I'm not sure if you get there. Here we go. Check glucose. So, we can do that. We know where the sensor is. Take the jacket off, take the cardio off, just to show. Oops, it's going to say time. Time, time out. Yes. Yeah. Right, so it's still on there? Yeah. Still there, nice and secure. Mm-hmm. We'll put the jacket on, because like I said earlier, um, you can do it over clothing. Um, also a coat, if you've got a coat on top, if you're out in town, you can do it. Mm -hmm. So once it's, you said yeah. scan the time out, so what did you press? Just the menu button. So what's it say? Scan sensor to check the glucose. Go on then. 4.2. 4.2. And we can also see. It's Four. pointing. 4.2. Which way is it going? That way. Is it flat or going up or down? It's flat. It's flat. Let's have a look at it. Here we go. See if we can see it nice and close. Get it in focus on the scanner, not on the Martha. <coughs> so the. You'll see the gap in the middle there. The other line is where my last <coughs> last sensor ended. And this line is the one that's just begun. So it's just plonked a dot at the start of this um, sensor. So that was the hour warm up. So we had to wait an hour in between scanning, uh, no, sorry, in between inserting the sensor and scanning. And the 14 days started when Martha just did the first scan. So that's the 14 day countdown effectively. 
And if we touch the screen, have a look. And we still have here the box we opened last time. We still have the box. Scan again. <clears throat> Can't see if you can. Oh, yeah. It's there. No more. 4.2! 4.2, Again. But at the top, you might be able to see there, it says at the top, ends in 14 days. So it always tells you how much longer you've got on the sensor. The sensor takes a reading every 60 seconds, so that's every minute. But the graph on the screen is the average reading over the last 15 minutes, plots a point on the graph. So you may have been up or down on the graph. Um, higher or lower than the actual points on the graph, but it always takes your average reading to plot it onto the graph. But the actual, <clears throat> when you do a scan, that's no more than a minute old, and it's a scan at that, at that point. Obviously we're measuring interstitial fluid, so that can be up to nine minutes ago. If you take a blood test, that reacts. That information okay. comes, yep, that takes quicker, that's straight away. Um, the Because it's measuring the interstitial fluid. Which is on your arm right here. Right Can't here. see, but you might be able to see where I'm pointing. Yep, um, because it's measuring the interstitial fluid, it's not as fast as the blood glucose. That's There's no way really around that. We've got really fancy algorithms in here to try and make the prediction a lot better. Um, and we'll have a look at another look at that later in the week. And um, we'll do some more scans. And mm -hmm. um, we'll also have a look at the graphs on the yeah. reader. If you've got any questions in the middle, um, I'm going to post the video onto on, onto the website. Um, if you manage to get to see it in between the first and the second lot of videoing, um, ask me a question either through the blog itself, which is tangerinediabetic.blogspot.com. Uh, or on the YouTube, um, ask me a question and I'll do my best to answer it next time. Uh, see how it's, how it's performing, how it compares. We'll do some before and after um, blood tests as well. So we'll take a blood test, then do a scan. Whoops, Ooh, I caught it. A scan five minutes later, um, see how it does. Um, so that's it for now. Um, that's all Not much. Not much, it was a fairly short one tonight. Mm -hmm. For you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Will you help me with the next one? Yes. Right. Always here. Always here. Right, so we've had our chips. So what now? Bedtime? No. What? Pudding. Pudding? Pudding. Mm. What, do you, what do you want for pudding? Vianetta. Vianetta. Okay, time to go and dish up some Vianetta. Thank you very much. Be back soon. Ed Cut. Hi. So a little postscript to what we did before. Um, uh, we're now a couple of hours later. Um, and let's just do a quick scan to compare it with blood glucose and see how they compare. Okay, so increase our lever, check glucose, so it's, it's check scanner, there we go, scan my arm, do it with one hand, there we go, and the number is 5.4, happy with that? Very, very happy with that. Right, hold on one sec while I do the old fashioned blood test. So, still using the um, Bayer meter, um, long term favourite of mine. Pop it in there. You can say, warm up, warm up, warm up. Petronic, and let's take some blood. Oops, there we go. Upside down, but apply the blood. Applied, counting down. What number's going to be on the meter? 5.7. So, um, they're fairly close together. <laughs> Back up again. Um, they're fairly close together, as you see. Within a couple of hours, they're already within pretty acceptable range. I'd take that um, if I did the same, same test twice on that meter. I'm not sure I'd be able to get the same result that close. Um, so, all good. I enjoyed it so far. Um, Come back for part two of the video, we'll have a look at some more of the detail and we'll fill in all the blanks that I've missed so far. Alright, thanks, bye. Hi. Right, um, I talked about the old sensor before. Um, as we know, this has had two weeks on my arm, so it's worth having a look at it. Um, just see what condition it's in. Um, and also, 
if there's been any irritation underneath the skin, underneath the sensor on my skin. Um, I've never had any reaction. Um, I know some people do, um, and they treat that in various ways. Um, I never have, um, so let's have a look. So, let's have a look. Um, so we'll have a close look there. You can see the edges of the sensor coming up slightly. Um, it's not a problem, it's still held very securely. Um, it's looking a little bit bad, a little bit bruised. Um, don't know what that muck is on the edge. Um, it's not tape or anything. It's just got caught on something. Um, so now we will do the big reveal. So we will pull it like we need to pull it off. It's like a big plaster. Taking off the plaster, get a close look of a good light. And we see it. Oh, it looks a little bit red, but it's not. There's a little bit of adhesive there. See, there's a small red mark um, where the sensor was in, uh, but that's that will disappear very quickly. I've got to wash with that later. Get off the sticky stuff. Um, that will be good. Extra light on the job again. So let's have a look at the inside. So we can see. Hopefully, that's in focus. See what needs to be done. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the filament on that camera. Yeah, just about. So that's the little flexy bit that sticks. That's the bit that goes under the skin. That bit there, that little bit of metal, does the magic. That's the thing that's reading my interstitial fluid uh, to give me my glucose reading um, every minute. All right. Hope that was helpful. See you later.